Hey guys, I decided to try the Forspoken demo on uh, Steam. I didn't want to really pay for the full game, so I decided just to try it out because I know some people are not really too crazy about it. So let's go ahead and trade the graphics things real quickly. So uh, let me go to the display here. So we're at 3040 by 26, 2160 by 4K, 144 display. Maximum frame rate is capped at 120. V-Sync is off. And then all the graphics settings are basically ultra high setting. Uh, but the DLSS is currently off. And all those settings, I guess it won't be changed unless uh, you're on the full game, I'm assuming. So, this is gonna be a quick little video. It's kind of like late in the evening. I already recorded a lot of videos uh, this day, and I am using the new NVIDIA drivers, which were released to uh, fully support this game. So, go ahead and play this game. I know it's uh, using the Luminous Engine, which was used in Final Fantasy 15. I just watched Digital Foundry's uh, video on this on the PS5, and I saw some uh, of the effects this game has, like you see all, all these grass, individual grass uh, blades like have a reaction to like uh, the oh, player movement, so, so there are here. some interesting uh, Watery effects in this game. Some people say it looks kind of dated, no, no which I can agree, which I saw some of the other videos. Yeah, well, I fucking but, uh, we'll see it. how it runs. Uh. I don't even know the control of it, just how are you skip the tutorial, but... Oh, come on. But it looks like at 4K uh, max setting, we're getting about 95 frames per second here. Guess so, pretty huh? smooth. Unfortunately, you can't seem to do 8K. I already tried to uh, turn it up to 8K, but for some reason it's not letting me uh, go to that resolution. I'm not sure exactly why. Well, we very quickly try 1440p, confirm. Let's see how it runs. Looks like we're getting about 100 and. 8 to 110 frames per second here. And yeah, I just mostly we just wanted to try the game. I know I wasn't gonna probably want to buy the game, but you know. That's one thing I like is when uh, publishers release demos for games, you know, let you, allowing you to try out the game, which I definitely appreciate. It. This should be easy enough. And you have a true of every battle. Pretty straightforward control if it's the mouse and keyboard. I'll finish the job. I do think it also works with the Dual Sense 5 controller, which I do have. I do have a PS5 as well, but it feels like it's pretty uh, easy to control with the mouse and keyboard. All right, so let me uh, mess around with these settings here. So let me go to uh, display. Let's put it back in 4K, and then let's see uh, how this. If I can even turn on DLSS, so I guess I won't able to access it. That's crazy. Because it's just a demo. Yeah, it's not let me uh, go to the settings because okay, that's its limitation in the demo. So, like I said, I won't have this video too long. I just wanted to go very briefly test it on my Ace District RTX 4090, which has a 200 megahertz core clock, 1185 megahertz memory clock, and I'm running an i9 1300K CP at 5.7 gigahertz all core clock. I'm running 32 gigabytes of G Scale Z5 DDR5 PC 600 RAM. And like I said, I'm running on Windows 11 with all the updates and new NVIDIA drivers which support this game. And then for storage, running two Western Digital S950s and RAID 0. I was hoping I could play the DLS Us settings, but I guess you need the full game to uh, try that out, so... Well, let's go here, see what there is to... Uh, probably chill here for a while. Wonderful. The indoor environments. I, for one, like can't that. wait to take a load off. Definitely take runs a, a lot better, so sure. I mean, know what the heck I'm doing here. But... What? I mean, look at the character model. I know I saw on the Digital Foundry is like the said the hair effects are really detailed. So yeah, it looks like it's definitely got some pretty high detail on the hair effects. It's pretty realistic, I'd say. I know it's using an older uh, game engine, which I'm sure has a few fixes here and there uh, over the last game that was released on it, which is Final Fantasy XV. I think there's only two games that used to limit this, limit this engine, this and uh, Final Fantasy XV. So. so yeah, I just wanted to try out the game, see how it runs on the 4090, and yeah, I don't think I'll be actually I do getting the full game. I do not get out of bed. But I just well. wanted to try it out, see how it plays. Like a little you bit. Have to. The main thing is, so I there. thought there was going to be a benchmark mode in the demo, but I guess you Thinking need the full game. Something. Uh, 
do that, so that's one unfortunate thing. I was hoping to see a benchmark mode, but yeah, it seems they're kind of limited here at the demo. All right, let's move. Pretty yes. good loading effects there. Go and then I also realized uh, it's like an open color. world, kind of like um, uh, Elden Ring. It's very vast, long draw distances, as you can see there. Animals here. Oh. Are getting chased here? I want to fall off this cliff here. So yeah, just a quick little video to show you how it runs. It seems like it runs pretty good on the 4090. Don't Unfortunately, I can't mess with the graphics tank too much, but Not just want to make that quick little video. But until then, uh, stay positive with life, keep doing what you enjoy doing, and thank you for all the support on YouTube, and uh, see you guys for the next video. Peace out, thanks for watching, and I hope you somewhat uh. enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys around. Uh. Peace out.